Woo! That's me. I'm Chris. Oh, I've got all the notifications on. Awesome. Okay, great. All right, so we've talked about this a number of times, uh, and I'm just going to quickly review what an SVG is, right? So scalable vector graphic, right? So it's drawn by the browser. Uh, the nice thing about it is it can be dynamically edited, right? Uh, so it's it's kind of like uh, if you took a – oh, my gosh. What have I done? Stop it. Oh, I can't help myself. All right, focus mode. Who needs it, right? All right. So, <laughs> the, you might think that that would work by default. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, my clearly gosh. Isn't. <laughs> this is driving, okay. How the heck do I do it? Go away. Okay, we will go a few minutes long today. It's okay. Right, Let's put go. the focus right, mode we'll on. We'll okay. Move. Okay. So, scalable vector graphics, drawn by the browser, dynamically edited. That worked really well. Now, we'll just ignore it. All right. But the idea here is if you've got a vector graphics, right, it's going to scale real nice and be beautiful, whereas you got something ugly like Bo's face here. Ugh, disgusting as you grow it, right? Um, and you can kind of think of these as like it's the difference between receiving a full cooked meal, which is this roster thing, which is going to get cold and weird, uh, versus a recipe, which you're going to cook hot and fresh right in the browser. There you go. I made that up. That sounds good. And then quickly, I wanted to briefly review this awesome tool by Sergey Sergey. Right. So this is the SP formatter. If you haven't used this yet, I'm going to show this briefly. Uh, this is an awesome way uh, to add an extension right into your browser. It makes connected with VS Code and all sorts of things a lot easier. And again, we'll take a look at that. This thing is straight up magic. All right. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's go back here. <laughs> I don't know what that was. All right. So we're over our horse's site. And uh, we're going to jump over just to a list so we can see some things here. Now, we talk about these SVGs. SVGs are really, really cool. Uh, they're really powerful, but they're really kind of hard to work with, right? So in list formatting, uh, we have all these samples that can help you, right? So we've got a whole category dedicated SVG. Um, there's actually more than that. Uh, so check those out. Uh, but again, they can be hard to work with because the only thing we get uh, in an SVG with list formatting is we get a view box. That's nice. That's a nice change. But then we only get path elements. So we don't get circles. We don't get recs. We don't get ellipses. All that kind of stuff, right? Uh, and that can be really irritating. So I work with these a lot. I thought it'd be easier, uh, nice if we had something easier to work with. And so that's what I wanted to show you today. And that would be uh, this. So JSONify is a brand new VS Code extension as of this morning, right? So we will install it. Uh, yeah, that's great. And we're just gonna install JSONify right here. Boom. All right, now we've got ourselves a JSONify. And we come over here. So I've downloaded this uh, SVG. You can see it's this Fang body. I just downloaded it from uh, Flycon. Right, if I come over here and I'm going to format or let's turn on, you know, format this document so we can see a little better, right? So it's just, it's got a path element. Let's make it so we can see a little better. Let's make that just red or something, right? So we can see that. We're previewing the little SVG. Uh, and again, we could go in here and we could rewrite this manually, uh, you know, with JSON. And it's just one path element, so it's not too crazy, right? Uh, or we could use this new extension, right? Convert to SP list format. Or we can just hit that and boom, now we've got ourselves a format, right? So it's taking that SVG and made a column format out of it. And we just come over here and we take literally any column here. We'll take title. Then we're going to format this column. And we're just going to paste that in there and we'll preview that. Boom. Now we didn't send any sizing. So now we've got a giant red dog, right? But that's pretty cool. I didn't have to do anything. Um, and you might notice that this gets even better when we have, uh, like, say, something a little crazier. I've got this from an Inkscape. It's got all this extra junk in here I could sort through. And again, the traditional way was to put it in something like Inkscape, simplify everything, map over CSS properties that were, you know, uh, moonlighting as uh, XML attributes and so on. And a uh, real pain in the, in the, uh, the st uh, stuff. <laughs> that's the word. All right. So you can see that quickly simplifies that. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, we come over here and we've got uh, like one that I drew manually uh, that I wanted to point out here. Um, and that's that not only uh, are we able to do this, it will convert all these things from paths uh, to paths for you, right? So it'll now you could draw with circles and recs and whatever else you want, and now it'll draw with paths, and that's really cool. All right, now what can we do with that SP formatter we talked about? Uh, and that's where I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn that on. So that's an extension I have installed, SP formatter, and I'm going to turn it on for the site. Just enable it, and you see I get this nice little thing here. Uh, one of the cool things about SP formatter Right, is that I can uh, come in here and I can connect it. Right? So I can start a new session with SP Formatter when I have the uh, VS Code extension installed as well. And when I do that, you can start to see now what I've generated over here actually shows up automatically. Right? And in fact, I could even close this guy. Yeah, I'm not going to save it. 
right? And we come over here to our bomb, and let's say we wanted to change maybe that uh, that color, right, from that fill. And we're just going to change it to green, just so we can see something different. Oh, we can have a, a, a garbage up. Yeah! There we go. Now we got a green, right? Just the idea is that it should be a little different. And if we do that again, we see it automatically shows up over there. Uh, so pretty cool, right? We can come over here and we can edit our uh, our bomb here. We can edit it in, uh, no, don't say that. We can edit our bomb in a uh, editor. Where's that? F1. I've got a SVG editor, right? So if I wanted to edit it right here in VS Code, right? I wanted to take some of these nodes and so on. I could, I could move things around. I don't, I don't know. The idea is here, if I'm editing all of this here, I can say in VS Code, I can use whatever tools I want. Um, and using this new extension, right, I can see those you know, directly in the browser. And it makes working with SVGs significantly easier. Easier. So what's it doing here? And we'll switch back over here. Rob it up. There we go. Let's go back to this tool so you can see it. So JSONify, that's this VS Code extension. Right now, it's just for SVGs. Uh, we'll see if we can extend that a little further to say HTML and so on. Uh, now we have ourselves have ourselves, we have a tool already on the site, right? It's an HTML to formatter. Um, and it's a very helpful tool and does a lot of this stuff, but it has a few limitations in that um, it basically just maps over properties regardless of if they're whitelisted or not. So this is doing some of that heavy lifting for you of saying, hey, yeah, yeah, that doesn't work. You can't have that, right? And warning you of those kinds of things um, and getting as true uh, to uh, actual preview as possible. So uh, that's about it. But Check those out. It's free. Uh, that's the link for it. And it works pretty nicely with that SP formatter. And that's all I got. Woo, right on time.